many, many federally mandated programs which the state and even local government has, which they underfund and which they tell the state you have to do it and then the state has to make up the funds. What are you going to do about either getting rid of those mandates or getting them to come across with what you need in order to uh, keep these programs going? Thank you. That would be Mr. Cousins. Yes. Well, well I think that you uh, already hit the nail on the head. I think both of those things have to happen. We have to uh, get rid of, we either have to fund the mandate that we need, but again, it's going to take, and this is all part of this reform, it's going to take looking at what it is they're telling us we have to do, looking at what it is the state tells the local government we have to do. When I was a county legislator, we talked and talked about getting Medicaid lifted off of the local taxpayers' backs. The reality is that New York and North Carolina are the only two states that have this, any portion of Medicaid shifted down to us. It's a federal program. We need to lift it off the local, and frankly, as, as a federal program, we need to start encouraging and, and really insisting that the federal government take that on as a program. The other reality is that there are, are things that we do in the state that are redundant, that we can, we can certainly uh, uh, stop duplicating. So what you said is what we ought to do, um, and I'm certainly working on it. That's part of the reform. Thank you, Mr. Murta. Thank you. Um, you know, I've heard twice in the last couple of minutes <clears throat> a variation on the theme um, a few minutes ago. If the state did not fund education, um, the locality would and the taxpayers would pay for it. Um, certainly it's true we depend on state aid, uh, but whether it's the state, the locality, or the federal government, you are paying for it. I don't have to explain that to you. It's your tax dollar at the end of the day. Uh, but you know, your, your question to mandates, the answer is obvious. Uh, we have to cut out on the federal level, and we have to talk to the last two speakers about uh, what they would do about that. But we also have to cut it out on the state level. Why has New York State, for example, recently mandated that every school district must record and report the body mass index of every student in the school system? Uh, I don't want obese children either. Let's get them out of video games and get them to exercise. Uh, but they're mandating that. They're not. Uh, they're not paying for it. I mean, there's, there's. I won't say hundreds, but tons of mandates like that. Uh, but a more fundamental question: Let's use education and then Medicaid. Uh, why is it that we spend in New York State? 50% above the national average on education, and yet we rank 37 out of the 50 states uh, on standardized testing. Why is it that we spend about $40 billion a year on Medicaid, and yet studies show that about 20% of that, one out of every five dollars, is either going to waste duplication or outright fraud? Uh, and last year, I think the controller rated in about 200 million of that, billions of dollars. Uh, we're not doing our job. Thank you. Next question. My name is Kerry Smith. I'm the president of the Kimball Brooklands uh, Co-op, which is not far from here on the eastern end of the uh, eastern edge of Yonkers. Thirty years ago, a, uh, a parkway was built over an aqueduct, running parallel to that right behind our apartment building and behind 900 uh, Palmer Avenue, two apartment buildings, approximately 500 people live in there. A year and a half ago, there was a devastating flood that came within inches and minutes of killing five people, three in our co-op, two in the 900 Palmer Avenue co-op. My question is, how can we get something done to draw, uh, uh, get rid of the five feet of sediment that has raised the canal that the state built behind our apartment building. How can, how can we get rid of that sediment? Whose attention do we have to get to get somebody over there to look at it and take step one, a year and a half since this accident happened, All right, to take care of it? All right, thank you. Uh, Mr. Murtaugh. You know, sir, it's an excellent question, and frankly, I'm as curious to hear the answer in a minute uh, as you are. Uh, 
Um, as you, I'm sure, know, I was there a year and a half ago, uh, helping load people into boats. Um, I was there when uh, that, that woman nearly drowned in a wheelchair in her own apartment. Uh, worse than that, and to your point, I was there a month ago when the basement flooded again at 900 Palmer, uh, about a week, I believe, after 26 or so families had just moved back into their apartments in your complex. Um, and you're right, that afternoon, a Saturday, actually sticks in my mind, it was my wedding anniversary, September 6th. Uh, in the afternoon, the water was the bottom of that uh, culvert. And by the time I got back there about 9 o'clock that night, uh, it was, as you say, about 5 or 6 inches from the top. Um, as a lot of you folks know who have been involved in those issues, the mayor was out there with me that night, the mayor's been out there since. Um, the spring broke. Unfortunately, is a state uh, body of water next to a state highway that, as you correctly point out, they diverted up against the side of your building more than 30 years ago. Uh, the Bronx River is a county body of water next to the county highway. A county task force for a year and a half has apparently done nothing, reported nothing. Um, and that's why, frankly, I'm as curious as a local official as you are uh, to find out what's uh, being done. Thank you, Mr. President. Well, I am. Um I'm sorry that you didn't reach out to, to my office, John, because we probably could have gotten to work on this a lot, uh, a lot sooner collectively. What it's going to take is all of us um, sitting down at the table. I was at a meeting with the mayor, I guess, a couple of weeks ago where there were so many people talking about the flooding. Certainly after this uh, um, devastating flood a year and a half ago, I too went not only to Yonkers, but to Greenberg. We brought DEC, we brought DOT. And of course, everyone has reasons why things aren't uh, as they should be. But certainly, I will commit to sitting with you and bringing the, the right people together. I know that my uh, uh, counterpart, Senator Klein, has been working uh, on these issues as well. Part of this, though, I think is going back to the bigger picture in terms of the things that we need to do to start making um, this work. Jobs infrastructure, the kinds of things that are happening, the flooding that's going on, not only in Yonkers, but it's really, in many ways, a, a matter of getting people to work, to recreate our infrastructure, to take care of the sewer system, to do the things that I think this time really suggests that we can plan, do, and make happen. It would help, it would be a win-win-win. Okay, next question. Yes. 